Evening at 5 o'clock, I'm Shade Bitter and Wong. And I'm Bill Ritter. We're going to begin tonight with the arrest in a grisly murder that has brought fear to people across the country. The stabbing of four young students from the University of Idaho. The man arrested a 28-year-old from the state of Washington who's majoring in criminology, arrested in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. Police in Idaho saying they matched DNA from the scene with that of the alleged killer, Brian Koberger. That arrest more than 2,000 miles away from the bloody murder scene. I was news reporter Darla Miles live outside the courthouse in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania with the latest in these developments. Darla. Bill Eyewitness News has learned that Brian Kohlberger had been under surveillance by the FBI field office here in Pennsylvania since that DNA match. He was arraigned here at the Monroe County Courthouse this morning where a judge ordered that he be held without bail and that he be extradited back to Idaho. A criminal complaint was filed yesterday here in Lataw County charging the defendant Mr. Kohlberger with four counts of first degree murder in addition to felony burglary. Around 1 a.m. Friday, a SWAT team surrounded this home in the Poconos, arresting 28-year-old Brian Koberger, hiding out more than 2,500 miles away from the grisly Idaho crime scene, where he's accused of murdering four people. They had it in handcuffs, and they took him out. We really did not saw his face, but we did so when the, the team took him out and put him in the car. The family home where Koberger was taken into custody, located in a private gated community on Lamsden Drive in Albrightsville, Pennsylvania. Koberger is listed as a Ph.D. student at Washington State University, living in this apartment just across the border from Moscow. Authorities in Pennsylvania working with the Moscow police and the FBI to track him down. I went out this morning for a little walk and I saw the helicopters flying above and I saw there was some activity, but I think it was kind of, I think it was kind of on the low. For seven weeks, investigators have been desperately searching for answers after roommates Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, and Zaina Kernodal, as well as her boyfriend, Ethan Chapin, were found slain in their off-campus apartment. These tragic murders took four young, vibrant lives from our community. The only thing that we can do in law enforcement to honor their memories that we know of is to bring this to a successful conclusion. You all now know the name of the person who has been charged with these offenses. Report anything you know about him to help the investigators understand fully everything there is to know about what happened and why. Now, as for the motive, investigators in Idaho say they cannot release that information until Kohlberger appears in court on the criminal complaint in Idaho after he's extradited. Meanwhile, we have heard from the families of Ethan Chapin and Kaylee Gonzalez, who say they are thankful and relieved by this arrest. Reporting live in Stroudsburg, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. What a story, a horrific story. Darla, thank you. By the way, we invite you to stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News for continuing coverage of this big story, the arrest of a suspect in the murder of those four Idaho University students. We'll also have the latest online. Now